So as you can see, I have finished the uh, brazing, bronze rolling, whatever you want to call it. We're now just boring them out. They're pretty lumpy at first, but it's coming quite smooth now. I'm only taking a very light cut off the thing. Here it's screwing around, it's rather fragile. This is a 5 hour side cut actually, and I'm doing 280 RPM. It's actually handling it quite well. Very little bugger, isn't Okay, Mike, okay, I'm back again. Uh, sorry about the delay. I've been having iPad problems. The iPad and I mutually hate each other, and so far this stupid iPad is winning. But um, hopefully I'll get it sorted out by somebody who knows more about it than me. It's all to do with memory. Um, this is the next part. This is the end plate. I've bored it out. Everything is located really precisely. I'm absolutely anal about things like this. These are the spring pins will go in there and then this will locate to the next one so it'll always be located this of course is the bearing I made earlier bearing box bronze welded inside this rides up and down inside the there for the top roller these are bored out um, what did I bought in 20, 26 mil exactly 26 mil and I've now got to um, machine a couple of bushes bronze bushes which I'll press into those and do the same for the other end. I'll get back to you. I can't believe this. I've just wasted an entire video of pressing the these um where are we these bushes in here on the 20 ton press and uh I don't know the village idiot struck again and I didn't record it all. Anyway give you a bit of background on these um I left one thou interference fit, so the outside was one thou bigger than the hole it was going into. That gives you compression. On the inside, I always allow one and a third thou. For every thou out, outside, that metal's got to go somewhere. One and a third thou on the inside, and it'll, it comes out. It came out exactly what I wanted it to, uh, 0.792. So that's given me um, five thou. Uh, clearance because that's pretty sloppy but remember it's um, working on a, a set of rollers so the chances of it being really lined up brilliantly every time I've got to take that into account and I hope I actually hope it hope that the 5,000 enough it might actually I might have to set it up on the mill and bore out a little bit more but I think I'll get away with that it'll be pretty pretty tight anyway that's it I'm 20 ton press both bushes pressed in and I forgot to film the lathe work on it, of course. I, I got sidetracked. I've been crook for, for really quite sick for a few days. And uh, thought processes have been somewhat addled. Anyway, now I'll make the other two bearings for the other side and I'll get back to you. I'll try and film the machining of those. This is just a bit of clarification on what I was talking about last time with the bronze bush. Now, as you can see, the, I've given the dimensions both in metric and imperial. So the outside dimension is 26 mil, uh, which is 0.1023. Now remember, I added to that, so I actually, it actually came out just a fraction under 0.1025. That gave me the compression, and the length, of course, is half inch, or 12.7 mil. Uh, the in internal diameter, 0.792, 4 inches. That gives me this 5 thou clearance. Now, what I've done in the end here, just so I'm, that it, that's the whole reason for this bit is, after I've machined the outside to size, I just cut a little tiny step. It's only um, about one and a half hour depth of cut, 
and it goes back about two mil. This allows me to just position it flat. It sits on the surface where it's going to be pressed in. It just lines up. It doesn't cant over to one side or the other. It just sits there flat. And that just taking that little tiny bit off off the length and the diameter is not going to make a blind bit of difference to anything, but it, it helps it in the pressing process. Once you apply the pressure, the thing goes in evenly and smoothly. I do that on most everything I press. I have done for over 50 years. It's always worked for me, so if you don't do it, you might have learned something. Thank you. Okay, let's see if I can do this without screwing it up. Uh, what I want to do is true this piece of um, bronze up. It's an off-cut. Down to my last off-cuts from a cannon I made. I'm going to use that for a bearing, but it's far too wide. Uh, what I'm going to, about to do now is true it up in its three-jaw chuck and with this uh, little wheel here, by pushing that into the face, it'll true it up. Then I'll bore it out, and then I'm going to fit it on a mandrel so I can turn the outside. Once I have the outside turned, I can then put it back in the three jaw, true it up the same way, and then bore the internal uh, bearing surface. So here we go. This is, uh, you can see it's running out pretty badly. I'll just carefully feed this in. Here we go. And that is running through. The trick is not to tighten the jaws too tight when you um, it's got to have it's got to have a bit of come, come and go on the thing isn't it um, otherwise you're not going to get anywhere with it so I'll just nip that up now and I'll give it another another run and we'll just have a check you use the mark on the eyeball we get enough of this yeah that's, that, that'll do so I'm just going to take a skim off the face and then everything is going to be true to that face anyway. That face will go up against the shoulder on the mantle. I'll get back to you. Right, I've just started this with the boring bar. I wasted one video. I had nothing but problems with this thing since I went to iCloud. Anyway, I'm taking a 5 thou depth of cut and I'm just going to, just trimming it up. And when I get it to 0.495, I'll leave it at that. And I'll just do a little little face and cut back on the edge so it can fit in on the shoulder really nicely and true. Just about through now. Here. There you go. Okay, I might just see how we went. Right, as you can see I've got this mounted on a mandrel. Uh, ignore the little bit that's leaping around madly. That's just a space, it's just to apply pressure to the uh, a bit of bronze. Now I'll just have to turn down the outsides to the, what is it, 26 mil? Oh, 26 mil plus 1,000, 1.025 I think that is in Imperial. And then flip it round, relocate it in the three jaw, and bore the inside out for the bearing cap. I'll get back to you. Well, I've got a 25,000 depth of cut. Remember, it's just held there by the pressure of the, it exerted by the nut. That's not too bad, I'm quite happy with that. You can tell this is bronze, the way it's spiralling off. This is draft that just come up in thousands of tiny little splinters which then get stuck in your hand and hurt all night. Um, that's it too, incidentally. Uh, I made that up as I was a friend, it's around about 50 years ago. It's uh, that's a lovely job on bronze, and good for cast iron too. It's just... Um, Silver soldered onto a mild steel shank, and uh, so it's lasted a long time. Right, you can see I've cut a little step on the edge of this, which I hope you can see. I'll just put that on the hole, and it'll just, there you go, it's all nicely lined up, nice and square, so when I press, it'll just go down to size.